Rifat Atun. He joins us from London. Professor, thank you for joining us on the program. Turkey, as I just said, there yeah. is, is now the country ninth most affected by coronavirus. What do you make of the growing number of cases here? Is this to be expected based on what we've seen elsewhere around the world? Yes, based on the trajectory of the epidemic in countries such as um, Italy, Spain, uh, and France, uh, we can expect the numbers in Turkey to increase over the next two to three weeks. Uh, but after three weeks or so, we'll see probably a, a decline in the rate of increase. The numbers will still continue to increase, but the increase will slow down. Mm -hmm. How are the measures that are being taken in Turkey working? For example, we don't have a, a total lockdown, but we do have a number of cities that are in quarantine. There's a curfew for um, children under the age of 20 and people over the age of 65. Uh, many things are closed. People are being told to wear masks uh, when they're in public. Are these enough? Well, each country needs to make a decision uh, for its, depending on its uh, own situation. And this means balancing the health consequences of COVID-19 with the economic and social consequences. And the responses have varied greatly in uh, around the world, but also in, in Europe. So around the world, China imposed very rapid restrictions on social isolation and lockdown. And we're able to see the results three to four weeks later with a rapid fall in the number of cases and number of deaths. South Korea, on the other hand, has followed a very um, uh, different strategy in, in not following a lockdown, but actually uh, with very, very extensive testing, with isolation of the cases, with quarantining of, of individuals exposed to infected cases, and social distancing advice. And Korea has been very successful in actually um, Containing the epidemic is one of the most successful responses, but they have not had full lockdown. But their response was very aggressive testing and very aggressive contact tracing, identifying exactly who was infected and, and their movements, and making this available publicly so those potentially exposed could go and get tests. So we see very different responses. Mm -hmm. You talked about uh, the number of cases here in Turkey uh, rising for the next uh, couple of weeks. That's what's expected. So when can we expect to see the peak and eventual decline in cases here? Are we talking about later in April, uh, early May? I would suspect that the numbers will continue to rise until, um, until into early May, given the experience of other countries. Because typically the incubation period is 5 to 14 days. So five, uh, two to 14 days, median is about five. Um, and then uh, those who, who, are, who have symptoms, typically they present to a hospital five days later, and they may stay in hospital for up to 16 days. So not only will we see an increase in the numbers of those infected, but also those admitted to hospital. But the number of cases infected um, will very much depend on number of people tested. 80% of individuals who are, who are infected with SARS coronavirus 2 are asymptomatic. So they do not have symptoms or they, they might have mild symptoms. So the numbers will very much reflect on the, the extent of testing in the country. Okay, we'll leave it there. Professor Rifat Atun joining us from London. Thank you so much for your time.